the GTP proposes far-reaching macroeconomic policy interventions that will control public expenditure, optimize revenue, stabilize the currency, reduce inflation, lower taxes and duties, lower interest rates, achieve debt sustainability, increase finance to SMEs, promote financial inclusion and deepen financial intermediation, introduce a new regime for the financing of the cocoa sector, and last but not the least, improve labor productivity. If you ever have the opportunity to read this GTP in detail, you would come to the conclusion that within a maximum of three years, we will stabilize the Ghanaian economy. In addition to these macroeconomic policies, the GTP proposes a comprehensive program for boosting the productive sectors of the economy through industrial transformation, a new agricultural evolution, and aggressively promoting tourism. Macroeconomic stability is a necessary condition, but it's not a sufficient condition for progress. It provides a basis for stabilization, but for you to be able to grow, you need to go beyond stabilization into investments into the productive sectors of the economy. It's the investments in industry, investments in agriculture, investments in uh, tourism that will catalyze the growth beyond the stability that comes with macroeconomic conditions.